The President of the Republic of Uganda, His Excellency Uhuru Kaguta Museven, has today called upon church leaders to take the lead in mobilizing the faithful under their stewardship to embrace the national resistance movement in RM's campaign. The Christian ministry should not be limited to spiritual evangelism. It should also cater for the material needs of the people. I urge the religious leaders to mobilize the faithful under their stewardship to embrace the wealth creation campaigns of the NRM government in order to create jobs and eliminate poverty at the household Level. The president's message was delivered by the vice president, High Excellence Retired Major Jess Karupu, during the centenary celebrations of Our Red of Good Shepherd, Lushorosa Cathedral Parish, in Thousand Division of Kabale Municipality in Kabale District. <laughs> President Museven urged Christians to champion the fight against poverty, revealing that 39% of households in the country are still trapped in subsistence farming, working solely for sustenance. He emphasized the NRM's message of social economic transformation, highlighting sectors where families, individuals, and companies can create jobs and wealth to guarantee prosperity. Poverty in Uganda is caused by the fact that 39% of Ugandan households are still trapped in subsistence farming, i.e. working for the stomach only. This is dangerous in the modern era where all goods and services needed to sustain life must be bought with money. The NRM's message regarding the social economic transformation of Uganda is that there are four sectors in the economy where individuals, families, and companies can create jobs and wealth to guarantee their prosperity. The four sectors are commercial agriculture, services, industries, and ICT. Museven congratulated Rusharosa Cathedral Parish on its 100 years, applauding them for advocating change in society through health, education, and socio-economic growth initiatives. When the White Fathers arrived at Nyarushanje in 1909, they came with the goal of winning comforts to the Christian faith and bringing enlightenment to Kigezi. At that time, our communities were still backward. For instance, they were illiterate, poor, and underdeveloped. Missionary work did not stop at spiritual conversion, but it involved teaching the new converts how to read, to write, and count. The missionaries pioneered the establishment of schools and hospitals or health facilities, and this shows that they were allowed to both the spiritual and physical needs of the people. The State Minister for Finance in charge of general duties, Honorable Henry Msasizi, discouraged President Museveni's active involvement in developing Rusharosa Cathedral Parish and Kabale Diocese at large, including the construction of the road to the cathedral. Additionally, Minister Musas has highlighted the active support of Christians in the region, identifying them as primary advocates for government programs such as the parish development model. We are doing very well in the parish development model. We have so far given 100 million to every parish in this place. And I am aware that 99% of these funds have been distributed to the beneficiaries. And we really appreciate the President for this initiative and the other initiatives. Several dignitaries, including members of Parliament from the districts of Chigezi, attended the celebration. Honorable David Bahati, the State Minister for Trade, Industry and Cooperatives, commended Bishop Kalisa Suramino of Kabale Diocese for leading the fight against ignorance and health issues by establishing health and education facilities. Bahati also urged the Christians to reject sectarianism based on religion and tribe to combat poverty in the area. Bishop, and those who came before you 
and this Spanish of Rucholosa. When many were wounded by ignorance, you never look aside. You put up education institutions that has fought ignorance in this area. We thank you. When many were wounded by disease, you never looked aside. You built health centers that are helping our people. Tora Shorura, Tora Pieza Kwena, Ahabokua, Evitu Wanisa, Ngoboro, Taroboro Bo Christo, Oboro Bo Christayo, Oboro Uga Salam, Oboro Nenshi, Oboro. Thousands of Christians gathered at our Red of Good Shepherd, Rishoroza Cathedral in Kabali Municipality, to celebrate the cathedral's 100 years. The celebrations began with the Holy Mass, with His Excellency Lao Bianco, the Papir Nuncio to Uganda, as the main celebrant, assisted by the Bishop Kalista Slubalamira. Bishop Rubalamira recounted the history of Rishoroza Parish, which began in November 1923. According to Rubalamira, Rosholosa Cathedral Parish started in November 1923 and it was Bishop Henry Strincher who took the courage and the risk to venture into Chigiz region by sending the first Scottists, Johanna Sebarija, in 1909 and Johanna Chitagana in 1911. Chitagana was sent as the providential man who started in Yarushanje and later came to start the Christian community of Rosholosa, assisted by Athanas Narugumbra and the team of many Scottists that participated in the Ari ministry. <laughs> Namnonga umshomesa yowana chitega na Namu ya alimidari namu waliku jabutani kakweje sedini Mko umshomesa tadasi na mkumbura Namu alimu alimide chitabu umshome ili afayo the Mejio Biamukama, the chairperson for Shoroza Cathedral Parish Council, noted that the parish has invested a lot of energy and resources to adhere to the bishop's campaign of reaching out to smaller Christian communities. He adds that they are preparing a press called Chanamira for a future parish and the priest's house will soon be completed. <laughs> Samalini Tri, the chairperson of RC3 for Central Division of Kabari Municipality, along with other Christians, congratulated Rushoza Cathedral Parish on the milestone of marking 100 years. <laughs> and as a parish for reaching 100 years of faith and we must celebrate and thank God for the growth of this great diocese. This is something that we must be proud of because it has impacted many lives, it has transformed the lives of Christians and we believe it is the beginning of other great 100 years. The campaign to renovate Rishorosa Cathedral Parish and by pews was also launched during the event with a donation from various dignitaries towards the cause. Honorable Minister Musasizi contributed 30 million, Honorable Bahati 30 million, Honorable Damira 7.5 million, Honorable Prosi 1.5 million, Honorable Jessica Rupu 15 million, and President Museven 50 million, among many others towards this cause. Nabatinga Machi, Portuguese Television.